yeah how we doing guys welcome to the stream um we're going a little bit different for our chill sunday stream i have chocolate for once and um yeah we're gonna boot up windows 3.1 and uh yeah what we've got in store is a little old game i never played but it was on windows 3.1 it's called steven spielberg's director's chair and um from what I've played, I've played a little bit of it. Um, you seem to be able to write, direct, and do all the fun movie-related... Yeah, make your own movie with what's on, basically. Yeah. Sandals. And yeah, I think it's old, crappy old QuickTime Windows 3.1 kind of game. With, um, yeah, full endorsement from Steven Spielberg. Uh, for the older people, he's the guy who directed uh, Jaws, Hook, uh, Schindler's List, heap of good ones. For the more younger generation, he directed um, Ready Player One, which came out this year. But yeah, uh, this has Jennifer Aniston and Quentin Tarantino, also Penn and Teller. So something a little bit different, definitely. Right, so we are off right Yeah, that'll do. Cool. Excuse me, where's this one going? State 17, watch your back. Hey, there's man himself. I've chosen you to direct our next project, so welcome to the studio. Now, making movies is one of the greatest jobs in the world. You've got to have talent and intuition, patience and energy, and the real innate ability to tell a story. Well, you've got to give um, Harvey Weinstein a good Of course, a great crew <laughs> is also essential, so I've handpicked some of the best people in Hollywood to work with you, and I'll be around to guide you through the process from writing the script to premiering the film, the movie you're about to personally make. So go to Studio Operations and please sign in. Okay, there you go. I love the whole fucking... <laughs> yep, LA, so it's fucking Earthquake Central. Yep. Ah! Oh, Hello. just a minor trembler, nothing to really worry about. Welcome to Southern California. I'm your PA, yeah, that's we'll short for production yeah. assistant. Come on into operations to sign in. We can't start production until you do. Oh, it all hinges on me, eh? I'm here to assist you. If you ever need help, just click on the pager. I'll leave it here on the desk. Oh, I know I have it here somewhere. One second. Got it! Oh. Okay, now this is Studio Operations, where you get started. So grab one of the blank slates and then sign in. <laughs> Go business. All right, so we grab. Mm-hmm. Okay, pager. got it. Oh, we get a it's PA. On a run. I feel Don't worry, fancy. I'm still there for you. If you need me, just click on my pager and then drag it over to the place where you have the question about. Now this is a special pager. I've programmed it to give you the information you're looking for. If you get lost or you just want to know how to do something faster, click on the PA pager button. It'll show you everything you need to know about the room you're in. Well, that's another call. Gotta go. Yeah. Hey, sweetie, it's Harvey. <laughs> if on a massage. If correct, hit OK. If you'd like Certainly to change is. it, do so now. Then hit OK. Yep. Click on the newspaper when you're done reading it. Oh, the guys okay. at the studio are thrilled you're directing this picture, but they run a tight ship here, so they're going to monitor your budget and schedule on a daily basis. Here, take a look, then click on it to move on. Uh, click on yeah. the budget when you're done reviewing Hell yeah. It. All right. Hollywood has filled the stories of people who've cheated their way to the top while strongly recommending that you advance by hard work and raw talent. We do provide the means to cheat your way to up to more advanced levels of play. Click on the PA page button and check the user's guide for details, but beware. Right, so I got 22 days to film it, 845,000. 
That's day one. Okay, so 5k to write our own script, 40k to do it. Production. Click on the budget when you're done reviewing it. Yeah, I'm just having a look. Set up a scene, do a master shot, production delays, printer shots, editing, make a cut, place a cut. Ooh, yeah, that gets a bit expensive. Yeah, this is before the days of uh, being able to get Sony Vegas Pro, I suppose. Play a folly effect, order folly effect, music. All right, so you should yeah, go next door to pre-production to start writing your script. A little bit to work Click with. Click on the exit but... icon over there to go out to the lot. Open computer. Ah. Just move your mouse to the right or the left and have a look around. Yeah, all right. We'll do. So yeah, we got the theater. Credits. Lab. So I guess you'll work your way through. Buy it pre-production. Want? Oh, Alfred's in. He's directing. Cool. <laughs> it all begins with the written word. We owe our careers to the writers. And my saying has always been, if it's not on the page, it's not on the stage. So we got you a couple of positively and really amazing, terrific writers, Ted and Terry, or Terry and Ted, who have their own ideas so learn early to collaborate, knowing that in the end, it's you who must make the final decision about the story that you want to tell. So this is your first time up at bat. Keep it nice and simple. The story that's been greenlit is that of a prisoner wrongly accused of murder who's about to be executed unless his girlfriend can find who set him up. Unfortunately, this studio is only willing to let you tell one side of the story. So. Whose story do you want to tell? The prisoners or the girlfriends? Oh, yeah, we got to go progressive 90s in the, the beginnings of the PC era. So, um, yeah, we'll go girlfriend. Great choice. That's exactly the way we would have gone. Oh, shut My up, you Ted. fucking yes, man. My name's Terry. We co-wrote the animated film Aladdin. And so in Hollywood, we're the perfect pair to write a prison picture. We're really excited to be working with you. Hey, we're your biggest fans. Biggest fans. Now listen, do you want to give some creative input in this story, or should we write it alone? Oh, I want to fix it. I want to work with you. Okay, great. So it's just uh, you and me. And me. Uh, click on the outline so we can read through it. After you read through the outline, click on the sequence you want to use for the opening of the film. Then drag it over to us and we'll write it. I'll write it. He'll type it. To turn the pages of your outline and script, click on the bottom corners of the pages. Okay. Uh, around. Backstage, find the murder weapon. Okay. Yeah, not really much to work with, is there? Right, yeah, we should probably start with the, the basics. It's good. I like it. <laughs> you pull that out from the back of the print. Brutal slaying of heiress Victoria Hemmerdinger. Cool as might is. Theft of a famed jewelry collection. Jack Cavello was arrested and convicted, but the jewels were never recovered. Instrumental in Cavello's capture were Sigmund Payne and Leroy, Leroy Terore. Musicians, escape artists, and per personal psychics to Mrs. Hemmerdinger. It was they who led the police to the murder weapon, a pearl handled saber found in the trunk of Cavello's car. Cool. I like it. All right. The scene is finished. Why don't you take this masterpiece, lay it in the script book? We're on a roll now. Excellent. <laughs> That's one of the more awkward high fives I've fucking seen. 
Now that you've got the hang of it, go back to the outline and select the next sequence you want us to write. Keep it up until we finish the script. Okay. And a bit. Or watch the magic show. Round. Okay, so they basically just line it out for us. Okay. Yeah, well, we gotta introduce the place. Do you see any other writers in this room? I don't see any other writers. Why don't you let us, hey, why don't you let us write that thing? Okay, I'm supposed to click it on. Smart ass writers. And you 40 grand for this shit. Watch, checks, watch, 1157 on the stage, read Sigmund Payne and Leroy Terore. Pain and Troy perform days, dressed in morning clothes, wearing white matching Bortonaries. Troy is wearing jeweled Swami's turban. All the deck cards, chalkboard. Uh, yep, that's standard pen and teller right there. Uh, three clubs. Is that your card? Clubs, yep. Okay. <laughs> In, yeah. Okay. So. Aniston joins friendly cast of Death Sandals as a film. Cool. What else we got? Well, really, it seems like they're just getting us to, um... They've got the outline done out, I'm guessing. Yeah, we'll just click on things till things happen. That was your first day of pre-production. You made it. How you feeling? On top of the world? I'll bet. You know, it took a whole day. What am I paying you fuckers for? We've done 15k already? Fucking hell. Alright. Alright, put it in the script then. How didn't we just... Chorus? Tell her to reappear in Death Sandals as a film. Okay. It's good. I like it. So you're halfway through your writing schedule. Hope it's going well. 25k just to click on a few things. Go. What? How are we? Hmm. Stressful already. Um. Yep. Blah blah blah. <laughs> Tuck that in. Now I actually want to. Um, yeah. Let's kill off Jack. It's a point in the world. Down or ending. But it's more about it's the. Good. Um, I like it. Yeah. More about Jennifer Aniston. Learning a few things about her little life. Yep, I like it. Put it in. Okay. Now that you've got the hang of it, go back to the outline and select the next sequence you want us to write. Keep it up until we finish the script. I am, we can't just. Do I have to put everything in there? Alright, well, we'll... Oh, fuck him. Do you see any other writers in this room? I don't see any other writers. Why don't you let us... Hey, why don't you let us write that thing? It was tentative, guys. We filmed both scenes and we 
take focus groups to work out who won. Right. Tarantino signs on to Death Sandals as his new film. Yes, I also want to kill off Tarantino Finished. on this because, yeah, he fucking this knew. He knew everything Harvey Weinstein was up to. Now get on out to production and shoot this thing before some two-bit hack steals all our great ideas. Congratulations on your script. Now you'll need to give your film a working title. Don't worry, you can change your title at any time back in operations. <laughs> FYI. By now, all the major papers and all the online services have read your script, so you'd better do something original with it. By the way, your script is now available in all locations and can be printed out in studio operations. Huh. No script. Start filming this puppy. Oh, hey there. Look, I'm really busy right now getting your actors in wardrobe. Why don't you head into production while I finish up? Oh, it's both production. Tell me anything, Randy. Okay, your screenplay is done, and it's been approved by the studio which means that now you're ready to start production. Production is tough. You'll have to consider every decision you make. And because this is your first time, this studio is going to be constantly in your face on the budget and schedule. I Don't worry, that happens say. to me too. If you plan your shots and you stick to your script, I'm sure you're gonna do great. I never start production without first hiring a brilliant director of photography. All right, Steve, I'm a fan of DP as well. Hi. My name is Dean oh. Cundy. Some of the films I've shot include Jurassic Park, Casper, Back to the Future, and Roger Rabbit. Oh, One of the most go. challenging sequences I've ever had to do was the I have heard of scene Dean in the as well. Jurassic Park. The excitement of the storytelling had to be told by the images, which was greatly complicated by the fact that the images came at different times and from different places. Sometimes the actors were in empty rooms, sometimes the actors worked with large mechanical dinosaurs, and sometimes the dinosaurs came from the computer. And all of this had to be tied together by the lighting and the camera angles. So you can see that movies are about images, and translating the director's vision of the story into images is my job. So I've read your script, very visual. I've broken it down by moods, made choices about which lights to use, which lenses, and even what film stock is appropriate. So why don't you open the script and click on the first scene that you'd like to shoot. Um. Yeah, well that's probably the best, probably Great the cheapest one to, to do at the start. The green viewfinder shows you where our master shot is set up. Master shot is a wide shot that shows all the action of a scene. As a novice, you'll be shooting all master shots. Click on the green viewfinder to load your shot, then the green camera button down there to roll camera. Creatively stifled already, that'd be right. You don't have access to master shots. After you finish this film, move to high levels of play, you'll have a huge array of additional shots, including stunt special effects coverage, actor improvisations. Okay. Alright. So yeah, let's... Uh... <laughs> no, we're not in the money yet, guys. Come on. Yep. This will be picture. Quiet, please. Rolling. Speeding. Action. The scene. Ravenswood Prison. Behind these cold stone walls, Jack Cavello eats his last meal, hears his last rite, and at 12 noon will walk that long last mile to the electric chair. The world was shocked when it learned of the brutal slaying of heiress Victoria Hemmerdinger. The killer's motive? theft of her famed jewelry collection, including the spectacular Diamond Tiara del Fuego. Her trusted chauffeur, Jack Cavello, was arrested and convicted, but the jewels were never recovered. Instrumental in Cavello's capture were Sigmund Payne and Leroy Terror, magicians, escape artists, and personal psychics to Mrs. Hemmerdinger. After you watch a shot, click on the red reel button down there to print it. 
That means you'll be able to take it to the editing room. If you don't print the shot, then you won't have it when you get there. If you'd like to see the shot again, click on the picture of the camera again. Once you've printed a shot, the viewfinder will become gray. That's the print! Very good work, young Asian lady in TV. If you want to shoot a new scene, you can either select one from your script book or use the scroll bar to find the scene you want. Ah, yep, yep. Okay. And, oh, let's put things in. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right, I like the smoke coming out. That's good. Okay. Um, we should probably... Right, so we've got that. Yeah, let's just... Let's do standard. We're going to order. Hi, I'm Yvonne, the hairdresser for your movie. It's going to take about 40 minutes to get Laura ready for the movie. Damn it. Um, oh, tough call. Yeah, we got to do it. Jennifer Aniston do her best, so let's wait. <laughs> okay, Laura's ready for makeup now. The set decorators brought the wrong colored curtains for the theater. I could never let you shoot that. You gotta wait. Oh, no, fuck right off. Oh, really? Well, we've already done up. Close. We got the right curtains for the theater. They're up and ready to go. Get on it, you fuck. Arrgh! The first day of shooting is over. You can relax now. But not for long. It all starts again on the second day. Here, you better take a look at the schedule and budget clipboard to see how you're doing. Click on it to okay it. We're up to 190k already with six days to shoot. What? For oh, fuck's sake. All right. Well. Hang on, this. Oh no, that's just the costs overall. Okay. All right, do this, Buffy. Quiet on the set and rolling. Sound speed. No way, my son. Action. I'm not when filming you. you. Select a card while speaking within the deck. My partner Terror will psychically suck its identity from your minds. And is that your card? The three. Finale. I need a volunteer from the audience. Someone with an adventurous soul, the thirst for the unknown, and the courage to seek it. Oh, will I do? Oh. Bill. Yeah, I think you'll do very nicely. Step right up here, would you please? Thank you. And what is your name? <clears throat> Laura. Laura? Lovely. Simply lovely. Step right to the bar. Our final illusion is entitled that's... The Beast Within. Oh, yeah, I suppose we're just going off the oh. script, don't we? Yeah, that seems like the right setting. There once was a beautiful woman unjustly imprisoned by. Uh, okay, so I'm guessing as you get a bigger budget, you can shoot those like close in shots, but we're just doing masters of. Okay. Makes sense. Bring that shit. Thanks. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, because I could. Yeah, I don't have to film certain ones either, do I? I'm Antonio. I'm your lighting director, and this room here is going to take a while to light. It has to be very dramatic, very theatrical, lots of color, about 45 minutes to an hour. Breaking my balls, Anto. If twice. <laughs> okay, we're done now, we're ready to go. Holy fuck, all right. 
two and a half days of shooting were all. Ugh. Okay, let's roll. Very quiet, please. Rolling. Speed on tape. And action. Just like the murder weapon. Oh. Where did they hide the tiara? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh uh, yes, if you got that sitting on the That's real. Oh. You don't really need one of those if you know. You know they're real. Grinch. Right, so don't. Ah, oh, yeah, that's the scene where he figures out what's going on and that short. So let's not shoot. Them. You've Put gone through half your scheduled time. Plan carefully for the rest of the filming. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Harvey, I need more uh, more time on the shoot. What are you going to do for me? <laughs> oh yeah, let's let's shoot. Stand by for picture. Roll sound. Speed. Action. Yes, hello, listen, please. I need the governor. She's expecting my call. Who are you? Oh! <sighs> What's your game? Well, I was afraid it was old maid. <laughs> but uh, ever since I've laid eyes on you, I, I've been more in the mood for Harvey. You know, besides being a master illusionist mm -hmm. come on pen smash that puss a, uh, oh, it. Genuine <laughs> well, i'm a terrible you director a, you have a crystal ball Ooh, it's kind of a personal question oh. well what do you predict for my future oh i can't predict your future my dear oh god oh, no. because you don't have Mm-hmm. Okay, got it. They sent me on a run, but don't worry, I'm still there for you. If you need me, just click on my pager and then drag it over to the place where you have the question about. Uh, okay. Now this is a special page. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Bye bye. Um so halfway oh well we've still got three and a half days. Two. Yeah, definitely shoot his death scene if we got time. Hi, I'm Alice, and your costume designer. We shot so late last night. All the costume houses were closed. I didn't have the pre sizes when I left here last night. It's going to be an hour. Sorry. All right, we won't shoot it for now. Happy ending then. Hi, I'm Alice, and your costume designer. Oh, fuck off. Seriously? We shot so late last night. All the costume houses were closed. I didn't have the pre-sizes when I left here last night. It's going to be an hour. Sorry. All right. All right. Now, I bet you you're going to tell me that, yeah, same thing again. Hi. Yeah, we'll wait for the... Seriously, I had to wait for the priest costume to be set up. 
Ah, uh, yeah, last right. Okay, we're ready in wardrobe. We can go now. Hi, Second I'm five. Yvonne. I'm your hairdresser for the movie. It's going to take about 20 minutes to get Ma ready. Ooh. Yeah, all right. Let's get Ma ready then. Ah, uh, okay. as in the old Ma's ready bit. to go into makeup now. Good. Yeah, all right, all right. Yep, let's roll it. Roll sound. Sound speed. Action. <laughs> yeah, you take that, you burnt feet loving motherfucker. Cut! <laughs> Fuck's sake, Jennifer. Seriously? All that acting? Damn it. Fucking trash to work with, don't I? One more day. That's all that's left. Make sure you've got everything you need. Alright. Hold it. And if you come up with fucking costume bullshit again, I'm going to be so pissed off. This uh, will be pictured. Yeah, yeah. Quiet, please. Rolling. Speeding. Action. <laughs> Fuck, we barely even have to edit this. It works. You get the little twist ending at the end. That's fucking... Yeah. Awesome. Alright, um, oh, I've finished shooting. Yeah, everyone go and Editing watch. Is about and where's my overlay? God damn it. Get back on production. there. You and your film editor <laughs> Filmmaking is stressful, god damn. Way to tell your story. <laughs> this is a time for making decisions like faster or slower, funnier or scarier, longer or shorter. Oh, and this is the place where the director has the most control. And for me personally, where I have the most fun. Yeah, it says Hi, I'm Michael Kahn, and a few of the films I've edited are Raiders of the Lost Ark, Jurassic Park, and Schindler's List. There editing is always fun, and each new film presents a new challenge. While editing Schindler's List in Krakow, Poland, we were also finishing Jurassic Park. We used a satellite transmission from the visual effects company in Northern California so that Stephen could view and approve the dinosaur footage. But even with all this technical wizardry, we never lost sight of the importance of telling the story. This is the editing room, where you'll be creating your own story. The first step of editing any movie is to view all of your footage. Your PA will show you around the flatbed. Okay. The editing process can be fairly complicated, so I'm going to take you through it step by step. But before I show you how to start editing, I should probably take you on a quick tour of the editing bay. Mrs. By Hammerdinger, it was they who led police to the murder weapon, a pearl-handled saber found in the trunk of <laughs> Just to car. remind people of what actually And I think we're done. Ooh. Yeah, I guess now we put in sound effects. Please wait while the Foley artists prepare the show. Ah! Mm. Fuck you, Spielberg. <laughs> Now comes the part of filmmaking that's always fun. You've brought your edited film into the Foley studio where you're going to work with the sound designer, Mark, to add sound effects. I'm Mark Mangini, and I'm a sound designer. We're here on the Foley stage, which is where we create sound effects for movies. Some of the movies I've designed sound for are the Flintstones, three of the Star Trek movies, Beauty and the Beast, and Aladdin. You're a fucking hack, get out of here. It's like it's raining in a movie. Or it sounds like you're in the middle of a tropical rainforest. Those sounds were put together by people like me. One of the most fun parts of designing sound for movies is getting to create sounds that don't exist in real life. So, for example, on Aladdin, to create the sound of Aladdin being chased by a tidal wave of lava, I recorded the sound of my mother's spaghetti sauce simmering on the stove. 
your PA will now show you how to lay in sound effects. All the fun. props that you see here <laughs> will create sounds that you can lay down on your film by clicking on the record button, followed by the play button, then clicking on the appropriate prop at the right time. It might take some practice, but just remember that you can erase sounds by doing the same process, but hitting the mute button instead of a prop. Music. And check with the You ever watch a movie on TV with the sound off? Something's missing, and it's not just the dialogue. The music that plays under each scene is such a critical part of movie making because it might set a delicate mood, it might make us cry, or keep us in gut-twisting suspense, or tell us when to be scared <laughs> We need that flute bit from um, Jurassic Park. <laughs> Hi, I'm Laurie Higgins Tobias, your music editor. I'll be doing the same work on your film as I did on the Flintstones, Stargate, and Independence Day. A music editor helps create the musical oh, yeah, concept didn't see and Spielberg do the Flintstones, the mate. While I working remember. on the Flintstones, playing music from the original cartoon series underneath early edits of the movie helped the director decide. <laughs> Tell me, I can put the entire Flintstones soundtrack into this film. game, into this movie. I I've should watched say. your cut, selected some music cues, and broken them down by category. You will have to decide what kind of mood to set by matching the music cues with the scenes you have already cut together. The music is broken down by category in the book down there on the mixing <coughs> board. Your PA will tell you how to lay down your music track. Yeah, we to lay down some in sick beats. In the beginning beats. levels, you'll only have access to a few instruments, but with experience, you'll be able to add the sound of a rock band or even a symphony orchestra. To lay down your music, open the music book and select the kind of music you want to work with. From there, select a music cue and the instruments will set up to play. To record, hit the record button followed by the play button. To play the music, just click on the instruments. Okay. Oh, yeah, you get a little volume thing. Yeah. Got 145 in four days. Play. Set volume. And at 12 noon, we'll walk that long Death Row is a whimsical adventure. With the free selected card. That hammer. Quarter of a day. <laughs> Be one of the deck. My partner, Terror. Will psychically suck its identity from your mind. The world was shocked when it learned of the brutal slaying of heiress Victoria Hemmerdinger. The killer's motive? Theft of her fame jewelry collection, including the spectacular diamond tiara del Fuego. Her trusted chauffeur, Jack Cavello, was arrested and convicted, but the jewels were never recovered. And now, for our finale, I need a volunteer for the audience. Someone with an adventurous soul, the thirst for the unknown, and the courage to seek it. Oh, well, I do. And yeah, that's the other interesting thing. Like, they managed to fit this on, like, it's probably 20 minutes worth of footage for the quick time videos, and just like the murder weapon. Yeah, maybe about. Uh, I don't know. Where did they hide the tiara? Couple of wave files, couple of MIDI files. Oh, oh my god! Even have done more with what they had.
Oh. This section contains musical stings. Stings are short musical cues that you can use to emphasize exciting moments. I only got... Huh? I got more. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, hello, listen, please. I need the governor. She's expecting my call. Your first day of music editing is Oh, complete. thank fuck. We got How a little bit feel? more time on our hands. It gets a That's lot good. easier from here on. Cool. Right. Uh, so let's go back. Oh, no, that's... Yeah, let's go to some fucking hot jazz. Who are you? Oh, I'm hanging to see the final cut of this. What's your game? Well, I still get paid. I afraid it was old maid. <laughs> but uh, ever since I've laid eyes on you, I've been more in the mood for heart. You know, besides being a master illusionist, mm -hmm. I'm also a Please tell me I'm still alive. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, do you have a crystal ball? Yep. Ooh. That's kind of a personal question. Oh. Yeah, hang on. We need the stings again. Oh, don't record. Um, no, did we? You need to call in musicians before you can play anything. Yeah, all so right. Shut up. I get it. Go get me a coffee. Stings. Yeah, tell us on. Let's go some rock. My future. Oh, I can't predict your future, my friend. now halfway through the oh, scoring shit. session. All right, Keep good your thing schedule in mind. You don't want to run out of time before you're finished. All right, so we want goofy ass fucking for the death of Quentin Tarantino. No, hang on. Dad. Ah, uh, yeah. The fucking gospel. Oh. <laughs> I've uh, run out of folly effects, so I was going to put in another gunshot. Fuck. Instrumental in Cavello's capture were Sigmund Payne and Leroy Terror, magicians, escape artists, and personal psychic, Mrs. Pemmerdinger. It was they who led police to the murder weapon, a pearl-handled saber found in the trunk of Cavello's car. Okay. Um... <laughs> Let's put in one more goofy little Boom, boom. Uh, hang on. Oh, is that? No, that's it. Okay. Well, fuck it. Yep. We're ahead of schedule. We're good. We're doing well. All right. Okay, graphics, you said. This is the room where you'll create the marketing campaign for your film. You'll have the opportunity here to create advertising that'll communicate to people all over the world the reasons they should go out and pay to see your movie. If your movie doesn't open to big audiences, you get to blame all the people in this room. <laughs> That's aggressive.
Most okay. people think that once a film is finished, the movie making process is Can it just be complete. like that one In shot fact, there's of quite Jennifer Aniston's ass on a loop? Hi, I'm Buffy Shutt. With I some, run the um, marketing department. Our group designs the posters and ads that you see in newspapers, on buses, and at your local movie theater. I've created marketing campaigns for such films as Babe, Apollo 13, Casper, and T2. When we envision a campaign, we often find the key to it is in a music cue, a single image, or a line from the script. Good lines sell the movie. Great lines become part of our vocabulary. I mean, put the Frankly, my mode dear, on next I don't give I a damn. Uh, Houston, screen. Yeah. we have a problem. <laughs> I'll be back. Let's see if we can come up with something unique for your film. Click on the poster maker, title vision, or the Tickomatic, and your PA will show you how to create your campaign. Okay. Uh, I'll bet ah. you're sitting there with your stomach in knots, terrified no one's going to like your movie. No, I give well, my Well, to take your mind off that, let's get to work on the marketing campaign. If you want to start on the poster design, click on the drawing table. To print up tickets, use the Tickomatic. Use the title vision machine to print credit titles to add to your film. Okay, all right. Um, all right, well, let's go left to right. Tickomatic, we want. Oh, yeah. This is where you'll make tickets for your film's premiere. Just answer the questions as they come up, and when you're done, you can print out the tickets eight at a time. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Board. Name to appear on tickets. Uh, yes. The price you would like tickets. Can we do oh we can't do uh, okay. it files, okay. Yeah, let's go old. Uh tickets get through title fonts. <laughs> Taken full use of um, Windows 3.1's font library. There we go. Correct fonts. It's spooky. New. Character sizes. Can I make? Oh, I can't make mess. Yeah, I can go too big. Dollar. Out of colors. <laughs> yeah, gotta go. Sandals yellow. Colors. Those sandals. Blue. Dark blue. Uh, okay. Oh, so that's if I want to print it IRL. Okay. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Okay. Untrick it on Quentin New. Cool. Trailer, I'm guessing. Ah, okay, yeah. Ah. This is where you'll make your titles. Just answer the questions that the title machine asks, and you'll get to make the credits for your film. Okay. Oh. Uh, no, I don't want to change the title. Okay. Title effect. Only one. Flash up. Uh, can we go, can I go fade? No. Uh, yeah, we'll fucking do it. Fonts. Yep. Grand colors. <laughs> God. 
Ooh, that's fun. Um, okay, if you... Yeah, let's play them after them. Yes, please credit. They did a good job. Credit the DP, production assistant. Yeah. Stunt coordinator. No, fuck the stunt coordinator. File. Hello, fatty. Still hungry, are ya? Ah, I like that. Okay. <laughs> uh. yeah, Alright, I like that. Yeah, we're heading there. And we're doing a poster. Okay. That blank spot in the middle of your desk is your canvas. In order to place a graphic image onto your canvas, click on the stacks of pictures on the left. When you click on a stack, you'll see all of that stack's images displayed. Click on whatever image you want, then drag it to the canvas. Place as many as you want to work with. Once they're on the canvas, you can select your images and move them to the foreground or the background. Resize them or erase them. If you make a mistake, use the undo button. If you don't like an image, click on the eraser and the selected image will disappear. If you want to add words, click on the stencils. When you're done, you can print your poster with the print button. If you have any trouble, use the help screen on my PA page for further detail. Damn it, I was hoping no one noticed me trying to move the capture screen. Yes, hello, fatty. Yeah, you're not getting fed for a little bit. Yeah. Hey, not your tea time. You're a big sook. Yeah, you know you're... Yeah. Anyway, um, so. Oh, we missed. Oh. Okay, we're missing out on heaps of shit. So they've obviously filmed more stuff. Um, alright, so. Uh, yeah. On the phone, she's a little big. Yeah, all right. Oh, yeah, back there. <laughs> Can we get him toilets? Oh, how do we get rid of him? Oh, they expected me to put. First, okay. There we go. Tell me how I can. Oh, damn it. Oh, yep, yep. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, you can change the size. Cool. No, we don't want... Okay, so... Don't bowl. Don't turn you. And yeah, we'll put some. Yes, like a gun. Don't you stay there, Jay. <laughs> All right, I'm happy with that. Spent a new poster, Herald's a hot new film. Tickets going with the wind. Awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, that's our marketing campaign done. <laughs> Even comes up on there. That's cool. What are we doing more? So the suspense begins here because this is the lab where your film will be processed. 
and it can take a while, so we'll keep you posted. Ah, okay. Well, I'm happy with this. Can I have a Coke? No, oh, can't. If you need more help, you can click on the PA Pager button for further instructions. Alright, let's do it. Leave or go on. Sound effects? Yes, no. Oh yeah. Oh fucking really? <laughs> Take about seven minutes to finish your release. That's so like gonna put everything together for me. Wow. All right, that's interesting. Um. Well, I'll actually. Yeah, I'll go and break, and we'll come back when it's done. I suppose. All right. Apparently, it's done. Cool. Ready to premiere Quentin Yu. Good news. We got the release print back from the lab. When you've got the courage to come out of the bathroom and take a seat at the premiere theater, I'll join you there for a sneak preview of your movie. Now comes the real test. Okay. Um, I was just thinking while we're on break, I could probably get uh, Mackenzie and me going now that I've worked out what the deal is with swapping CDs, because that's five CDs, and it's another interesting one. It's um, like fucking product credits. Okay. <laughs> no product credits. Cool. All right. Well, let's go look at the movie. Dun, 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 dun. Ah. Fuck yeah. Thank you, Jeeves. I'll need you again at midnight. Yeah. To be fair, like there's a lot on Windows 3.1, like a lot of games similar to this, and hopefully this should work. Time. Okay. Um, so that's three. Yes, no, maybe there it is. Okay. Uh, control F4 to say it's in there. Yep. Yeah, because that's where I was getting stuff on Mackenzie and me. I was meant to go. I'd like to welcome all Control F4 every today. time. The director is in the building, but is throwing up. Let's hear it for this very talented movie maker. Okay, save it till you see it. The film you're about to see was a pitch battle and an uphill struggle, but if all goes well here oh, today... Oh, fuck off. I was under budget and under time. And I hope you enjoy watching it as much as we have enjoyed... Fuck you, Spielberg. Thank you. Not all fucking big shots like you, okay? <laughs> We're ready to roll as soon as I get your okay. Cool. All right. Let's do it. Why did I have to pay for a ticket? Hell. Oh. Yeah, here we go. Spielberg presents Quentin New. The scene Ravenswood Prison. Behind these cold stone walls, Jack Bellow <laughs> eats his last meal, hears his last rite, and at 12 noon walks out long. The whimsy of air. death row. The world was shocked when it learned of the brutal slaying of Eris Victoria Hemmerdinger. <laughs> 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 Yes, that shop over and over again, please. You've aged well, like a fine wine, Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> oh, that folly works way off. <laughs> and all right, really, yeah, we've got the films in production. All I've got left to do is to um. 
<laughs> for people to dig up my dirty tweets on Twitter and um, get me sacked. Yay! Show business. That's her biological you know, clock ticking. <laughs> you know, besides being a master illusionist, mm -hmm. I'm also a genuine. Of a crystal ball. Ooh. That's kind of a personal question. Um, well, what do you think of my future? Oh, I can't predict your future, my friend. Because you don't have it. <laughs> now we got the gospel music. Yes, Quentin Tarantino is dead. In my canon, he is anyway. You started to lose me at Inglorious Bastards and you completely lost me at um, the fucking last one you did. Good luck getting any more work in Trophies this bud. Yeah, savor that kiss. Give me the last one to get off any women. <laughs> and now we play this in reverse and he goes back to jail. That is pretty cool though, like it took, yeah, seven minutes real time to put this together, but I had a lot going for it. And if I'd had this program as a kid, I would have absolutely fucking loved it. Wouldn't be able to get me off the bloody thing. And you get the credits and everything, nice. I'm regretting I didn't get uh, the scrolling credits, so I should go gone for scrolling. And fuck the rest of those guys. We didn't have any stunts in this. Alright, so... Um, well, let's exit and see what... Said. Oh, back to... Well, you know, work control F4. Mounted. Come on. Update. Congratulations. 